Hi all, and thanks for watching. In this video, I'm just going to go over installing EMB and Suite Effects for Alien vs. Predator, the 2010 Sega release. Now, I will leave a link to the actual mod here so that you can download the files and add them to your game if you'd like. Now, the EMB and Suite Effects runs in DX9 mode when you're using the game. So if you'd actually like to use the DX11 mode when running the game, then you'll want to run my reshade and sweet effects. And there is actually links for it on the mod here, although I'll actually make a separate setup video for that one and go over it on the other video once I complete the setup here and the gameplay video that I'm going to do, as I'll do one separately for each one. But back to the mod here. Basically, once you get to the mod DB page here, you just want to click on the download now. And then you'll just want to save the file. Now, I've already saved the file, so I'm not going to click OK. I'm just going to cancel that. But I've got it right here. And once you've downloaded the file, you just want to open that up and then you want to minimize your browser and go to your game folder. Now being a Steam game it's located in your C program files, Steam, Steam apps, common, and then aliens versus predator. Now I'll just open it up for you if you're not sure you just go to your C drive and go to the program files and then steam steam apps common and there's all your games listed there and the alien vs predator is the one that you want to open now once you've got that open you just want to drag and drop these files into the game folder and that's basically it now one thing if you are a Windows 10 user only a Windows 10 user, you want to change the DXGI DLL name and you just want to rename that to D3D11 and hit enter. Now that's only for Windows 10 users. If you're Windows 7 or 8 then you don't have to make that change. Now at this point you just want to launch the game and when you launch the game and the launcher comes up you'll want to launch it in DX9 mode and as I said if you do want to run it normally or in the DX11 mode then you'll just want to download the reshade and sweet effects version and I'll go over that in another video now as far as troubleshooting there is a troubleshooting video for the EMB Suite Effects at the bottom of the mod here or you can actually find that on my YouTube page also but basically if you start the game and you have any graphical issues um, the picture doesn't look quite right or the game itself doesn't start then you just want to alternate the D3D9 starting file and you just want to switch it with one of the ones that's provided here in the old D3D9 folder and just copy and then paste that over the existing one in the game folder now sometimes you'll have to do this depending on your video card as some video cards don't work with some of the D3D9 so you just want to switch through the alternates until you find the one that corrects any issue that you were having as far as the in-game picture and such. Now I will also go over adding your EXEs to clean mem just in case you're running clean mem. If not then just look over the notes on the mod and the link for the video that's on my description and that will go over installing clean mem which will help your game and performance of programs by limiting the processes 
in the way that it's set up and I'll just show you here now I already have it running so I can just start the clean mem settings wizard here and just go through to my only list which I have already set up and the AVP EXE and the AVP DX11 EXE you want to add those to your list so if you're not used to adding you just click on the plus copy the name here and just add that to the list now I've already got it in my list so it won't repeat it it doesn't make an overlap so you don't end up with two AVP EXEs if you do re-add a name that's already there so it's nothing to worry about and just click next and finish and you're all set at that point now if there are any questions please let me know in the comments below otherwise at this point your game should be all set and running and I believe you use the pause break in game to enable and disable the effects now if you do want to alter the preset file you can do so by going into this weed effects and preset folder here and you can replace that settings file but you only want to use a 1.5 and down if you're going to replace that settings file and you also want to rename your new preset file to the name of the existing one and rename the existing one to something like AVP old and that way it will keep the changed file in place and allow for the new settings without having to alter any of the preset settings so if there's anything else just let me know if you'd like to see more content like this please leave a like and subscribe otherwise thanks a lot for watching take care and I'll talk to you again